Hey guys, what's up? Got a Marvel Select Thor in today. He's a Disney exclusive. Packaging looks pretty sweet on him. Resembles this guy on the side here. Can't wait to open him up. And uh, you can read. go ahead and read this if you want. Also, um, I'd like to point out that I've seen some other people on YouTube do a review on this guy. And uh, the box had pictures of Hawkeye and Black Widow. And I think another character. I don't know if I got a re-release or something. Kind of confused on that. If you give a, give us a comment, tell me what's up with that. I'd like to know. And uh, about to open him so you can see his articulation and his good sculpt and paint apps. Alright, now that I got him out of the package, you can discuss a few of uh, the gripes I have and the positive. Um, can't get him into very many poses. His legs are very limited. Like, you can't. They don't go forward or backward on, at the hip joint. They just swivel. So, it's kind of hard to get him into any, like, real articulated poses this is about the best one you're probably gonna get out of them and uh... hammers really loose in his hand don't like that and um... the paint apps are good, I like the paint apps, he looks very comic accurate I like how um... they sculpted this and painted it as well but it kinda doesn't make sense like the bands don't really match up and they don't really look like they've been wrapped. It's just kind of random. Um, I like the paint shading that it's, they had with this character. Another gripe I don't like is it looks like padding is in here or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know if abs would be that big. But it's kind of cool. I do like this character. This, uh, figure because it's really comic accurate though kinda looks like some Jack Kirby like if you ever flipped through a Jack Kirby issue he would look like this but his his face sculpts a little off also I don't know if um, Thor is supposed to have white wings on his helmet but uh, I'm pretty sure he is but I don't know I've seen him with both in the comics I've seen depending on the inker but I'm pretty sure Jack Kirby meant to make these like real feathers on his helmet. So that's pretty off. There's no writing on the hammer, as it, as it there is in the comics. But overall, good figure. Limited art articulation. No ankle pivot. Just up and well, you, what? I'm not even getting anything out of this. Like. Honestly, this one moves, but the other one doesn't. So maybe you got a broke one. It's left and right, left and right. Uh, sw swivel at the single or er, single jointed. Hold on, double jointed knee. So double jointed knee. That's pretty good. And uh, whoa, that's cool. And kind of get him to pose on his cape, like as if as if he's flying. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But uh, his hair on this one, you can actually move his head pretty good, more than a stand standard door. But it kind of gives that up thing from the hair. No, barely any up and downs. You get you get somewhat of an up and down on him. I really want to get that Giant Man series Thor because I think he looks pretty comic accurate too as well as this one. The modern Thor I'm not so much a fan of. I really don't like the head sculpt on that one but the overall sculpt of the body on the modern Thor I would say is pretty good but I just don't like his outfit or he's not comic accurate to me at all so I'm not planning on getting that guy and uh... for uh, if you like comic figures and you like them to be accurate to um... 
to the comics, you know, as I do, then you you want to get this guy and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks, guys.